Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. How is everyone today? I'm Sandy, and today we're going to take one of these dollar store picture frames, glam it up, bling it out, and transform it into a beautiful serving tray. And unless otherwise stated, the rest of the materials in today's craft project is from Dollar Tree or Dollarama. The materials include a few square frameless mirror tiles. Dollar Tree sells them in 5x5 measurements, but I ran out, so I'm using these ones I found on Amazon, and they measure 4x4. We will also be adding some of these mini mirror tiles. We will also need two cabinet handles. These ones were purchased from a yard sale many years ago and came to pennies apiece. We will also need four of these silver napkin holders from the six-pack. For embellishments, I have chosen these clear, loose, flatback square gems I bought in bulk from Alibaba. I'll also be using this silver glitter ribbon I found in the holiday section of the dollar store last Christmas. Also from last year's holiday season is this large, beautiful silver gift bag. To help us out with today's craft project, we will need an assortment of glue, including some Fix-All, some tacky glue, some white glue, and some hot glue. My glue gun is from Amazon. To begin, we will need to disassemble the picture frame and remove the cardboard backing and paper insert. Take the paper insert and use it as a template to measure out and cut out a section of the silver gift bag. And while we work on that, I would like to take a moment to thank all the returning viewers to my channel for tuning in to today's craft project. If you're visiting for the first time, I would like to extend a warm welcome. And if you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified of my future DIY craft videos. Once we have the piece of gift bag cut to size, we are going to glue it to the cardboard backing that came with our picture frame. Here you will see that I'm going to be applying a generous amount of white glue, which I will spread out evenly using a foam brush. It's important to not to skip this step as I found out from a previous craft project that not spreading out the glue could cause the glue to dry in clumps and the lumps would potentially show through the paper when dried. Once the gift back piece is secured firmly to the cardboard backing, it's time to position the frameless mirror tiles across the bag. For this, I will be measuring and drawing out the positioning of the mirror tiles to ensure they are centered perfectly. Then, using some white glue, adhere each mirror tile directly on top of the gift bag. Using white glue for this step will also allow you to correct the positioning of the mirror tiles before the glue dries. It also ensures that as the glue cures, the mirrors will lay flat onto the bag. When using hot glue, I noticed that sometimes the glue would dry quickly in clumps and would not give me enough time. Here I'm using my favorite glass cleaner to remove any fingerprints and marks on the mirrors. And as I clean the mirrors, I decide that the mirror surface needed some more bling. So I will add some small round gem stickers all around the mirror tiles to create a delicate border. This will not only hide the harsh mirror edges, but will also add a nice design element.
next step is to reinsert the glammed up cardboard backing back onto the frame. Also, make sure you press down on each tab at the back of the frame to ensure that everything is secured firmly inside the frame. And here's what the serving tray looks like so far. It's already looking great, but we're not done glamming it up yet. Our next step is to build some legs for the tray to give it a bit of height. For this, we will be wrapping these four napkin rings in glitter ribbon. A single strip of ribbon per napkin ring will suffice. Once each ring has a strip of the glitter ribbon, it's time to adhere them onto the bottom of the tray, one on each corner. You may notice that I have chosen to secure each leg with the glitter ribbon closest to the bottom of the leg so that the silver glitter will peep through when sitting on the table. Next, I go in with some rhinestone ribbon to further bling out the tray. This rhinestone ribbon is optional, but I think it really amps up the bling factor for our tray. And for those of you wondering, I found this rhinestone ribbon on Amazon. It can be cut to size and already comes with a very sticky adhesive backing, so no extra glue is required. And here's what our tray looks like so far. Already quite pretty, but we still need to add the cabinet handles to the tray as well. Take one of the handles and position it onto the frame. Once you are satisfied with the placement, secure it to the frame with some fix-all. Using fix-all will provide a firmer, longer lasting hold, just in case you are carrying something heavy on the tray. And along the frame, I will adhere the loose flat back square gems as well, using some hot glue and some tacky glue. I really like using the tacky glue because it doesn't dry as fast as the hot glue, but not as slow as the white glue. So it leaves just enough opportunity to make any adjustments and repositioning of the gems before the glue starts setting. And you'll see that I'm also blinging out the handles with the same gems. But if you are not into so much bling, or if you don't have enough gems, you can simply omit this step.
And here is the final look for our serving tray. This was so easy to make and I think it looks absolutely stunning. Comment down below and let me know what you think. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, hit the notification bell and check out these next videos for more ideas on how to upscale and repurpose your old picture frames.